Hi, it's Shannon sending positive vibrations and love. What I love about this city is that you can rent a bike easily by scanning the QR code, downloading that app, and bam! So I'm an eco-friendly person and I love that transportation is so easily accessible here. Now today I'm going to take you on my bike ride and discuss the dangers of suppressed emotions. And some of the things I'm going to be talking about today are very controversial. As well, I'm going to be sampling Aztec secret Indian clay facial mask. Let's begin. In life, many of us, even myself, are guilty of suppressing our emotions, such as fear, anxiety, stress, tension, anger, shock, dismay, disgust, sadness, Emotions are energy in motion. We do this to avoid judgment, to avoid conflict, acquiesce to the rules, make someone else feel good, or you don't feel anyone will understand you. And this leads us to having imbalances within our physical body, mentally losing confidence, losing our self-identity, losing our ability to express our true emotions, or being ourselves. It's those little white lies in life that chip away at your soul slowly. According to Dr. Joe Dispenza, it's a stimulus response that conditions your body to acquire long-term stress, which ultimately leads to imbalances in the body. Emotions create conditions such as depression and a multitude of sicknesses until we express our true emotions, not withholding them. We are training our bodies to stay in a negative vibration. Raise your emotional state by elevating your positive energy, by using your emotions to feel good, feel your desires fulfilled. For example, how does it feel like when you have an inspiring, awesome idea? How does it feel like when you're doing the thing you are passionate about? What does it feel like when you accomplish all your daily tasks and do your job well? You have to let out your inner truth, real positive emotions. It is said that marginalized people on ODSP who have to deal with pharmacies are treated unfairly. These are people on welfare or social assistance. People who are living on or below the poverty line, especially if they were prescribed narcotics, benzodiazepines, sleep aid medications, painkillers, codeine cough syrups, or methadone. These are people struggling, doing their best under the present circumstances. To receive welfare, they need to either have a part-time job, be registered and attending a job training program, or actively seeking employment through documented job searches. It has been said that pharmacy workers preparing their medications, treat their ailments, would belittle them, speak to them condescendingly. And this was part of the culture of many pharmacies. Despite the fact that these marginalized clients were the majority of pharmacies repeat clients and profits, they were treated poorly. Everyone deserves to be treated with kindness, respect, and we must be compassionate towards others. You can never know what it is like to walk in someone else's shoes. Today in Toronto, our children are not allowed to play in sports fields, tennis courts, soccer fields, basketball courts, swimming pools, and baseball diamonds. Rather, they are permitted to play on playgrounds and play structures. I have found the courage to speak up and express my truth and emotions. We all need physical activity to stay healthy. Firstly, this is once again discriminating against the poorer populace. If you reside in an apartment, condo, or rent a room in a house, you do not have access to a backyard or green space other than public parks. Just check out the City of Toronto Parks and Recreation websites. All city-owned sports fields are closed. Physical activity is essential and imperative to children's health and wellness. Restricting people to solely walking, running, or biking, playing on playgrounds is, rest is a restriction on our chartered basic human rights and freedoms. Most people do not have the luxury of backyards, green space, backyard basketball courts, backyard swimming pools, backyard tennis courts, home gym equipment, or treadmills. We rely on public spaces, 
For some kids, outdoor activities, sports and rec centers are the difference between entering gangs and escaping abuse. It's easy to overlook. Just remember, mental illness in young people has risen significantly since this pandemic began, as well as drug overdoses. New mental disorders have developed from this pandemic, COVID anxiety syndrome and COVID anxiety disorder. Suicide rates have increased significantly in adults. In fact, since online school commenced last year, 2020, my own son has gained significant weight due to less physical activity. My son has no outlets to play soccer, do karate, do gymnastics, no play dates, and it's difficult to juggle being a working single parent, monitoring online school, and constantly battling your child to get off addictive devices, which kids use daily for a full school day, 9 a.m. till 3 p.m., called the computer, a tablet, a laptop, or iPad for online school. Another difficult truth I face is that online school is the systemic downfall for special needs, IPRC children, such as my son, who has behavioral disorders and learning disabilities. Without in-person school, this is a major limitation on their ability to learn. In my opinion, this online school system is prejudiced towards special needs IPRC students like my son. It feels good for me to let out my emotions, speak the truth, detach from the negativity. We are all in this together and we must be mindful of others, but focus on aligning ourselves with positivity. Letting out emotions, letting go is part of the process to achieving the best version of yourself. Life is not about me, it's about we. So today, I'm going to be sampling Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. So this is my first time trying this. The main ingredient in this product is calcium bentonite, which is known if you ingest it, it actually takes out toxins out of the GI system. But not much is known about skin care use. But according to doctors, they say that if you use this on your skin, it actually should pull out toxins because calcium bentonite itself chemically actually does pull out toxins. So it probably pulls out dirt, oil, and moisture from your skin. So you want to make sure if you're going to use this mask that you don't have dry skin because this would dry out your skin further. So let me begin because this is a powder actual product it says to use it says to use a wooden bowl so I'm just adding it here in the wood mortar and I'm going to use my alkaline water because the pH is 7.3 which is actually closer to your skin's pH Now with this product, you could actually use natural apple cider vinegar. It's also recommended either using water or natural apple cider vinegar, but because apple cider vinegar is acidic and its pH is usually about four, it's not good for your skin unless you maybe mixed it with some water to get the pH higher. So I've got my gua sha tool and I'm gonna add some water. So it's almost like having a chemical reaction here, bubbling up. So this is what it looks like. I'm just giving it a good mix because it's still thick. So I might add some more water just to thin it out. So this mask supposedly tingles when you use it on your skin. So now it's pretty, as you can see, it's pretty 
mixed in, I'm going to apply some. And you're to leave this product on for 15 to 20 minutes. So after I apply it, This product is actually a very trending item and it's actually pretty cheap for the cost, for the amount that you get, because you could make a ton of masks with all that powder. And it's only intended to be used once a week. It's not an everyday product. And it actually is a deep, cleanser so it should clean out my pores and I already do feel a tingling on my skin which is what they say you should feel they call it a pulsation so I just washed my face it feels very refreshed, very cleansed, energized. I feel like it really did take out a lot of the oil and dirt out of my pores. So I would definitely recommend this Aztec clay mask. It's actually trending on YouTube. I would definitely recommend it. It feels like it does a good job. So hopefully you continue to watch my videos, like them, support my channel, and as always, good vibes.